Hundreds of St. John's County students will be attending different schools this fall with the school board poised to make some big changes. In a special meeting today, the five members voted to finalize a plan to adjust the attendance zones of 15 schools. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean is live at Freedom Crossing Academy tonight. So Joe, both school officials and district leaders say that something has to be done because of the number of people moving to St. John's County. Right, and they want that to happen soon. And it's because of that overcrowding that is already happening at some schools or is projected to happen at other schools like here at uh, uh, Freedom Crossing Academy. Now, so the board members also admitted today that they don't think that these zoning changes that are on the table now are gonna solve the problem for long. The St. John's County School Board voted Tuesday morning to finalize its plan for moving students around to alleviate overcrowding. It's the next to last step before the new attendance zones are officially adopted. The board greenlit seven of the nine proposed changes, each one moving a block of homes from one school's zone and redrawing it in another less crowded school zone. It comes as the school district and the county as a whole is experiencing a boom in its population, which is expected to keep growing. It sort of shares the pain until we can we can locate the funds necessary to uh, make a permanent solution with new schools. One of the proposed changes would move 182 students in the Oak Ridge Landing and Durban Creek Estates neighborhoods out of Freedom Crossing Academy to Patriot Oaks Academy. That means Cheryl Grass's two kids will likely have to change schools again. This isn't the first time mm -mm. that your students have had to go to a different school. Correct. So we built in this neighborhood so we could keep our kids at the school that's around the corner, 0.7 miles away. And as we were building, they built the new school, Freedom Crossing. That was three years ago, but now Grass's house is slated for another attendance zone change, and she's concerned for her older son, particularly if there are more zoning changes in his future. So he's already stressing out about it. So it's it's definitely affecting him, and it's going to be hard, very hard for him. The district continues to face overcrowding and is planning to build 19 new schools over the next two decades. But the board had to put plans for a new K through eight school that would have opened in 2023 on hold, saying the construction bids were just too expensive. Now you'll want to mark your calendars for these dates. Over the next month, you'll have a chance to weigh in on the attendance zone changes at uh, four school board workshops and meetings uh, over the month of May. And then that final meeting on May 31st, that's when the board is set to take a final vote on and, and officially adopt these attendance, uh, attendance zone changes. And they could do one of those options. They could do all of the seven. They could do any combination. But if they make any changes, it should, it, I should note, if they make any changes to these plans after this point, then they have to start this whole advertisement process over. And that could set this rezoning process back by more than a month. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station. Joe, thanks. And you can find a full list of those plan changes and the neighborhoods they affect inside the story on newsforjacks.com. Just click on the education page there.